The 2018 NFL Draft is one day away, and players who have sacrificed themselves, worked hard, and enjoyed a successful college career will soon see their dreams come true by playing in the NFL. And we're here to talk it up with one of those players today as we go one-on-one -on -one with Dallas Goddard, the top-ranked tight end prospect at our lads for the 2018 NFL Draft on the OFN Meeting Room with Greg DePalma. All right, it's Wednesday, April 25th, 2018. I'm Greg DePalma. Thanks for tuning into the OFN Meeting Room as we talk NFL Draft with South Dakota State tight end Dallas Goddard. Dallas, thanks for speaking with us today. Yeah, glad to be here. All right, Dallas. So uh, I'm sure you've got to be a very confident player to be in the position you're in today as the top-ranked tight end uh, prospect of this class. Uh, did you ever really think this day would come, though? You know, it's been a long process. You know, it's a dream that every little kid uh, dreams about. So, um, you know, I didn't know if I'd ever make it here or if this would ever come with this long process, but I'm glad it's here. How about being the, the top prospect? I mean, was that something that when you started playing college ball, did you say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I could, I could one day be the top uh, tight end prospect in the NFL draft. Yeah, I think um, anybody that plays college football um, has that goal to be the best. And, um, you know, working hard, uh, that was always one, one of my dreams to be the number one tight end in the draft, be drafted in the first round. And um, it ended up working that way. A lot of uh, things fell right for me, but I'm uh, really proud to be here. All right, who's your favorite South Dakota State player of all time? Man, that's tough. Uh, favorite South Dakota State? I probably have to go with uh, Adam Vinatieri. There you go. Yeah. Um, he, you know, just the success he's had, the things he's done in the league, you know, he's one of the best. He'll probably go be a Hall of Famer, so that's pretty cool. All right, South he better South be. State. I know how they're talking about, you know, all kickers, Hall of Fame, but if you don't get in, then no kicker should get in. All right. Yeah, I mean, he's done just about everything he could possibly do. Yes, he has. He's been awesome. All right, so you played in some competitive games against FPS, uh, FBS teams over your career. Which of those games did you feel you performed the best? Um, probably TCU my junior year. Um, I had a touchdown and just under 100 yards receiving, and I blocked really well as well. Um, so that was probably my favorite game. Uh, we ended up losing late in the fourth quarter. They kind of pulled away. But just that whole game, the atmosphere there was fun, and I think I played really well. Did, when you played against and, – and, you know, being from the SC, FCS and you get those FBS games and then you do perform well, that, that, that helps, right, as far as the confidence, not just for the team, but you personally? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, anytime you're playing the best competition and you're able to perform, that uh, gives yourself a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, after the TC, TCU game, I did go uh, the rest of the year and have a lot of confidence. All right. Well, tell me about your tell me about the fact that I know I, when you, when I look at your profile uh, at our lads, uh, I can see one of the things that you find out a lot over the years about these tight end prospects is uh, most of the time. OK, they're great receivers. And that's what really separates them from the best uh, in their class. But uh, Dan believes that you've got it all. You can block. And of course, you've got the receiving skills. So uh, how do you take pride in that? How, how long did that come about as far as you being a complete tight end and feel confident that you can also be effective as a blocker at the next level yeah i think my size um kind of sets me apart my uh build makes it uh really good for me to be like a three down tight end uh put in the blocking i think i'm a elite pass catcher too i think i do that better than um all the tight ends in the draft as well but to be a true three down tight end player um there's not a lot of them and i think i can be the next great one uh, if you had uh, one game film you were the most proud of that you would want scouts to see in your college career, which uh, game film would that be? Um, you know, either TCU or any of the times we played uh, North Dakota State, um, I think I always had uh, pretty good games against them. All right. What do you need to do to improve uh, your game? Do you have a weakness at all or something that you feel like once you're in camp, you're going to be like, yep, that's what they're going to have to coach me up on? Or, oh, yeah, I know. Um, I, I, I heard that. I knew that was coming. You know, I, I think I need to improve on all parts of my game. I don't think there's uh, one specific thing that um, I need. I think I can improve in so many different ways. So um, it'll just be uh, just continuing to round out my game uh, throughout the next uh, level. All right. You enjoyed a successful season last year, uh, ending in a playoff loss against James Madison. Was that the most disappointing loss you experienced? 
Um, you know, it was my last game with uh, a lot of my great friends that were in the uh, same um, grade as me, so it was a lot of their last games. So in that uh, regard, it was pretty upsetting. But uh, losing to North Dakota State in a playoff the year before uh, was really hard as well. And what about your biggest win? Not personally, but biggest win, team win. What was it? Um, that would have been North Dakota State my junior year. That was the first time we beat them in like eight matchups. Okay. Um, they were the defending national championship, national champions, um, undefeated. Um, and we beat them at their home turf, which uh, not a lot of people can say they've done. So that was pretty uh, incredible. All right. If you, if you had to try and if you were talking to, say, a high school kid in the area, uh, in the region, and they were uh, going to decide between North Dakota State and South Dakota State. Uh, tell me how you would convince them to play for South Dakota State and why. Man, I think uh, South Dakota State, would. everybody should come here. I think it's uh, the best school, the um, the coaches, the family atmosphere here. It's incredible. Um, I've loved the four and a half years I was there, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. A uh, player you played against, uh, draft fans should keep an eye on. I know, of course, in the FCS – uh, or maybe even some of those FBS games that, uh, you know, especially the FCS, uh, fans may not be too aware of those guys. So give, give me a player you played against that you think uh, could be a, a pro uh, that we should be looking out for. Um, I'd have to say Nick DeLuca from North Dakota State University. Okay. Uh, he's, he's a linebacker. He's a really good linebacker. Um, I trained with him as well. So he's, he's a good friend of mine, and he's a really good player. He'll have success at the next, next level for sure. All right. Uh, favorite NFL team growing up? And, and was it uh, difficult uh, being in yeah, the area? growing up, it was the uh, Green Bay Packers. Okay. Um, and, I mean, if I did happen to go there, I would love it, but I'd also just love going wherever, whoever sure. takes me. But growing up, yeah, that was my favorite. How come? Um, my stepdad was a big Packers fan, so that just kind of rubbed off on me once I started living with him. All right, Kim, now last question. T tell us something about yourself that no one knows. Man, that's tough. Um, but one I'd probably say is that, you know, I'm a big unicycler. I like riding my unicycle and trade with my family. It's more than just me. It's my, um, it's a whole family thing. There's probably uh, my aunts. Uh, I got a couple cousins that do it as well, and we ride in local parades. So that's a pretty cool, unique thing, I think. All right, that works. What are you going to be doing tomorrow night? Um, I'll be back home uh, with my family back at uh, my aunt's lodge and uh, watching with family and friends. And uh, any sort of feeling one way or another, it's like, do you, do you feel like, okay, absolutely 100%, I know I'm going to get drafted tomorrow night, or are you not even thinking about that? You know, that's, uh, that's definitely what I want to happen, and we definitely think there's a good possibility, but um, if it does, I'm not going to be too worried. I'll uh, wait till Friday, and whatever team takes me is going to have a good tight end on the roster. Dallas, I appreciate it. Best of luck, uh, and I'm sure you will get drafted tomorrow night. But either way, uh, we uh, we enjoyed you uh, spending some time with us. Uh, have a great uh, season, rest of the year. It should be a lot of fun for you, and we look forward to speaking to you again some other time. Thank you. Thanks, Dallas. All right, that's Dallas uh, Goddard, South Dakota State. He is the top tight end prospect in the NFL draft. And uh, glad to have him on the program. Uh, we are only, what, 26, 27 hours away uh, from the NFL draft. So, uh, by the way, we also had Naheem Hines on earlier today from uh, NC State here on the OFN meeting room. So a couple more players that we were able to interview here on our show. And these uh, interviews are always available on demand. We send them out on our on our Twitter handle to let you know exactly when they're going to be available. Follow us at Prime SN. Uh, by the way, our draft coverage continues tomorrow at 1 Eastern with Dan Shanka from Our Lads. So we have a lot to talk about on the day of the draft. That's Our Lads Guide to the 2018, eight, uh, two, excuse me, 2018 NFL Draft. Then on Friday at 3 Eastern, we're going to recap day one, preview day two with Dan Shanka. Uh, and then, of course, we'll also have all of our other programs uh, the rest of the week and our draft recap shows next week with Dan Shanka as well. So once again, thanks to uh, Dallas Goddard for joining us here on the OFN Meeting Room. I'm Greg DePama, and we'll see you next time on the Our Lads Football Radio Network, where it's never too early to think about the NFL draft.